Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to show you how to determine the gains and costs for merger. So let's take this example. Firm A has a value of $200 million and Firm B has a value of $50 million. Merging the two firms will allow cost saving with a present value of $25 million. So we need to determine first the gain from the merger. So since we have a cost saving in here, that is equal to $25 million, so this would be the gain from the merger. As a result, the gain will be $25 million. Part B, we have to determine the value of the merged firm, so PV, present value of A and B together of the merged firm. How could we determine this present value of A and B? We know that the gain is equal to PVAB minus the present value of the firm A alone plus the present value of the firm B alone, which is equal to the variation in the uh, present value A and B. We have here the gain, which is equal to $25 million. So this is given. The present value of firm A is here, $200 million, and the present value of firm B is the $50 million. So the only unknown in this equation is the PVAB. As a result, we can determine PVAB. It will be equal to $275 million. Question C. Determine the cost of merger if B is bought for $65 million. So firm A is paying cash for firm B. So the cost of merger will be equal to the cash paid minus the present value of the firm B. So the $65 million minus the $50 million. So the cost of acquiring firm B is equal to $15 million. Finally, the last question determine net present value and comment the result. We know that the net present value is equal to the gain minus the cost of merger. So 25 minus 15 plus 10 million. So it is positive. As a result, the shareholders of firm A have started with a firm that is worth $200 million and they end up with a firm that is worth the $275 million. However, they have paid $65 million to firm B, so they have an at present value of $10 million. They really came out with $10 million. And since the NPV is positive, so firm A should go ahead and acquire firm B.